Hello, Silverleaf69 here. Welcome to another episode of Divine Journey. Just hanging out here in my workshop. Got a few things going on. I've uh, been busy doing a lot of mining. Chopped down numerous redwood trees. I'd say half a dozen. So I could uh, build a ton of drawers. I didn't even do the math. I didn't even do the math. There's just so many of them. So, let's uh, get right to it. We'll put our armor on. As you can see, I got a few things in my inventory. Let me just show you around real quick. Uh, I believe I showed... No, I don't think I did. Uh, maybe I had the machine set up last episode. I know I had the big reactor. Put a few uh, trophies there. I haven't moved all of the the stuff to the appropriate floors where I plan on keeping them, but we'll take a ride up on the elevator. Show you each of the floors is full of drawers. And just so I know where the controller is, I put a couple of different blocks there in the middle. Just to keep track, just in case if I ever need to to access it for whatever reason. As you can see I've started uh, another smeltery there. That one's going to be for the seared bricks. Then I'm going to set up another one next to it for the glass. That'll be uh, used for the components for the different machines. The uh, Let's see here. The machine frames the seared glass mainly. You can use the Tinker's smeltery glass and seared brick to make the seared glass which is used to make machine frames and I'm sure we're gonna need a bunch of those. I plan on making a number of machines. This is just the start right here just to get us going. So we're gonna be working in the uh, automation chapter. You can see I got one quest done already but uh, I went ahead and just went ahead and smelted stuff up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Didn't want you to have to sit there and watch it all smelt up. And as, as you can see, I've processed a lot of things. Graphite bars and whatnot. To uh, increase the size of the big reactor eventually. Well, let's uh, just pull all this in the inventory and see what it's done for us. All right. It has completed a bunch of things. Huh. It didn't open these two up like I had thought. I'm not sure. Maybe I need to do a couple of these things to open that up or uh probably this quest line. So we've built basic capacitors and uh let me tell super is that I'm recording chat in a bit smiley face <laughs> uh, let's see let me grab a couple components I forgot the components for that so we need copper nuggets and redstone uh, we'll, we'll use that for now so And a couple of redstone. I think I grabbed one too many. Whoops, a couple of copper. We'll put those together right here. Um, that was enough for four, I think. Or two, I mean. Oh, dang, inventory. Let's do this right. So we got those two. And then... So I made the energetic alloy. Let me get the pulverized. I'm not sure if we can use the the charcoal dust, but as you can see, I've got almost 22,000 charcoal. The uh, redwood trees, the bark and the root, you can't use uh, for much of anything. So I decided to uh, just go ahead and turn that into charcoal, which 
eventually I'll be able to uh, uh, turn into coal if if I need. Is that how you do it? And I did want more, just like I had thought. Grab a little bit more here. Uh, and four of those. Because I want to make two. I'm sure it's going to ha have me make two. So, put those there. Copper. And now I can do this properly. Come over here. We've got two double layer. And then let's go ahead and make the octatic. And we need a glowstone block for that. And glowstone is right here. And I'm just using the crafting stations for now. I plan on a... Oh, dang it. Do I not have the... What did we need? Oh, vibrant alloy right here. Duh. Only one. Octatic. Oh, that's right. It takes two. Let's open our book. Huh. It's completed. But there's something else we are missing. Electrifying. Silicone. I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on. I have uh, this traveler's belt. Amazing. Swap between the bars there. R is the hot key for that. So, the main goal of this episode wasn't necessarily to complete a bunch of quests. That's a good thing to do, but I really wanted to get a little bit of better automation going. If you can see back here, I got uh, conduits from my ender chest being pulled out, pushed into the controller slave into the system. I got that set to a priority of 50, a very high priority. I want it pushed into there first. This one's set to 49. This is like, if there's nowhere else to go, go ahead and dump it into there. I have uh, this strong box here with different ores, the stuff that I've been mining. I try to leave a little bit of each thing in there because I plan on uh, setting up a screen for that. So, mainly I wanted to get a slice and splice ready which is going to require this stuff here and I believe I have everything needed in here let me grab a well, let me sleep here he still hasn't built a very good base yet he's getting started he just started uh, yesterday as a matter of fact and uh, yeah I'm losing my train of thought um, let's just grab one of these chests here uh, man dump a bunch of this stuff in there out of our way and grab a bunch of this stuff out of here so, we can come here and click on the different things there. Oh, what? Do I only have enough for one? Are you kidding me? Let's turn, uh... Now, let's see. Oh, yep. I probably put those in there to show you. Making weighted pressure plates just like that. Well, I had more pressure plates in my inventory. What am I missing? Tin gears? I got the tin gear. Seared glass. I got the seared glass. What in the 
heck is going on? Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to need two. We're going to make the Slice and Splice and the Soul Binder today. Um, Invar, basic capacitors. I got basic capacitors. I cooked up Invar that I just dumped in here, I believe. There we go. Grab that. And let's see. There we go. Two of those. Um, dark steel. So we need shears for the slice and splice. And we're going to need another set for inside of it once we create it. And those don't stack. And then we're going to need an axe to make it and an axe to go inside. So we'll make two of those. And solarium. We're going to need some solarium. And it just so happens that uh, I started cooking some up here before we got started so I could have it. Solarium is gold and soul sand either in the induction smelter or the alloy smelter. Either one works. So let's do the slice and splice. We got everything. Which uh, I think I was going to use the zombie brain head there and it's not going to auto fill for us because these things here don't stack and was it three on the bottom there we go slice and splice complete let's see the soul binder does that one auto fill there we go soul binder complete and let's go ahead and place those down right here for now there we go slice and splice and we'll go ahead and put our two objects in there that we need and you, as you can see it's filling up with power let's check our power levels here oh we got we got a pretty good amount uh, I ran through the feel that I had but as you can see got some more processed here and we're waiting and ready to go um, let's see we need this is what we're making the screen so we need an ender resonator. So we need an enderman head, silicone, vibrant alloy. Uh, did I got more vibrant alloy in here? Yes, I do. And enderman heads. So enderman head, vibrant alloy. And oh, there's the silicone right there. So that's cooking up. Um, for this, I think... I think we have everything for that yeah, right here. The screen is actually going to make it so much easier for us to uh, craft things because everything is going to be up. Oh, I'm missing the electrical steel. It's going to be all in our uh, uh, everything in our drawers will be visible. Did I not make electrical steel? I could have swore I had some electrical steel made up. Oh well, let's make some electrical steel then. That is going to be... No, I like this one. Silicone, coal dust, and iron. So, let's go grab some iron and coal dust real quick. Uh, let's make uh, that many six. Do we have enough in here? Sure. So then I don't have to run around each hallway and grab each individual item. It's all just going to be right there. Easy for us to access, grab each thing. There, whoops dumped it in the chest. There we go. Now we should be able to make that. There we go. Remote awareness upgrade. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need a bunch of those. One for each one of these chests because I want those on my network. Uh, that chest is actually gonna be moved over here and put in place of this one so then I can auto process that'll be my auto processing for now alright we got the ender resonator 
and we need to put it in the soul binder with a soul vial filled with a witch and I think I dumped that in here yes I did there we go so if we put that and that in there and see it requires 10 levels which there's other devices that you can uh, use later but right now we're just going to use the XP we have there get that cooking up what else do we need we need four blocks of dark steel so let's go ahead and just grab two stacks of that for now and we'll grab that we'll come over here let's go ahead and make four one two three four and then I've seen a lot of youtubers do this and I could never figure it out they grab an item and then everything just swoops up into their pointer and I I thought you had to press a button and everything else and so I did a little research if you double click above the item it grabs as much as you can into a stack just like that so just double click and it grabs it all for you it's such a, a helpful thing really a great thing to do so let's see dark solarium okay souls dark steel solarium and a pulsating crystal so we're gonna need uh, two two diamonds and let's go ahead and break down two of those go grab a couple of diamonds and uh, get that set up oh, grab that out of there whoops go ahead and wrap that around oh, I can't press buttons right today grab two of those and then that was in the alloy smelter I believe you go ahead and put uh, make sure it's set to alloys only that uh, two of those and I already forgot uh, dark steel is that not where it goes alloy smelter dark steel solarium and pulsating crystal pulsating crystal oh it's smelting up and as you can see I already put octatic capacitors in here we uh, I had a couple of those left over from the other base and and I have a lot of things pre-built but I just wanted to show you some of these things on camera and show you how they kind of worked so let's grab those come over here and do we have everything we got the resonating thing the things all the different things that goes up there and we don't have a pressurized fluid tank that's what we don't have oh dang me pressurized fluid tank okay do I have the copper and stuff yes copper glass grab that uh, let's dump uh, that 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 some dark steel off um, what else did I need out of here I think that's good let's uh, go down the line back well, well, well did I dump all that yes of course I did the stuff that you need six which is gonna make the fence dark iron bars for us um, here we go make that portable tank then we'll make the fluid tank and we'll sleep again for super is he is super maybe we'll uh, do a video with him someday as well and I still uh, have the the video of me and and uh, Zeramus in the dungeon but uh, I haven't really edited it together just yet I'm still kind of figuring out the software and I want to want to kind of get that right before I set that up alright so here we got the ender 
ender panel inventory panel as you can see right here I got this drawer six and a half thousand redwood bark being hoppered into a furnace which is feeding this generator to power itself and then it's dumping it into my network so let's see oh how can we do this uh, let's just uh, plop it up here for now there is a couple of items that I forgot I'm gonna have to go steal from Zeramus's base here let's let's just teleport over there I call it the storage base we're gonna grab this vat right here let's just go ahead and grab that one and uh, what did I need we'll just grab it from here while we're here flesh we'll grab a let's go ahead and grab a stack of rotten flesh and where it's been a while since I've been over here we need uh, another wart that's in this first row right here isn't it yep we'll grab a stack of that then we'll get back over here to the new base and we'll zip back out here oh you're kidding me I don't think I have any uh oh I do all right so let me actually break these doors here for a second at least that one and we'll stick the vat right up there for now and I'll, and I'll make all this pretty move it all around and a little a little later on whoops get up there uh, it already has water we will throw the rotten flesh and the nether ward in there and it's gonna brew up not a ton right off the top let's go ahead and throw that there it's gonna brew up nutrient distillation and that's what's gonna power the screen doesn't uh, require power the nutrient distillation that this creates is what it uses so let's uh, grab this bag here because as you can see I've got a bunch of stuff already set up let's grab a few things out let's set up that and we'll uh, break off that connection and we'll make that one insert and we'll place another one there and break off that connection and we'll have that one insert and extract and extract is going to be always active and then down here we're going to put a remote awareness upgrade and we're going to set we'll leave that one in that zero for now I'm not going to make you watch me click through all those numbers but let's see uh, I don't think it required power hmm the remote awareness there maybe it did require power I didn't think it did let's uh let's see do I have let's just grab uh, another sterling generator for now and an energy conduit I'll we'll slap the energy conduit on there I honestly didn't think it required power I'm learning something let's go ahead and grab half that charcoal throw it on in there we'll see if it kicks on you know maybe it doesn't have enough nutrient distillation oh it doesn't see I knew it didn't need power. Let's go ahead and break that off. Let's grab our wrench. 
and we'll scroll through the views here. If you hold shift and scroll, you can change to what you see. So then uh, if you only want to see the fluid conduit, whoops. Extract, there we go. And now it should be, there we go. See you guys, I wasn't crazy. I just lost my mind for a minute. So. Break that off. Did I put the remote awareness uh, in there? I did. Why are you not seeing everything? There we go. Now we can see everything that's in our drawers and you can use the crafting grid to craft things when you're done you stick it there and then it returns it to the system you can clear the the crafting grid and it returns it to the system you can put upgrades in here hey can you turn that down just for another couple of minutes please i'm almost done recording this video babe Just two more minutes. I'm almost done. My uh, wife's ready to get back to the TV. <laughs> We're in tight quarters here. So, which is fine. I don't mind. The video's running a little long anyway. There's a filter that I'll show you next time that goes in here. I don't th think I have one. Do I basic item filter? No, it's uh, the existing item filter, which takes an advanced filter, redstone compared to redstone, and that one will set show you what's in there. And uh, yeah, I will show you that and where I place the screens around the base for easy access and you know get a few more things set up and show you all that next time and uh, yeah, any comments any feedback appreciate you leaving those down in the comments section definitely will help me out knowing if uh, I've done a good or a bad job either way I don't mind I know I fumbled around a little bit I'm still kinda new to all this as I've said I will improve as time goes on, being a little more fluid, and we'll have a great time. And, uh, alright, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.